Have you ever thought about what's actually in your tap water? Did you know there could be hidden dangers in it? Are you sure your water is clean? What if you could make your water safe and clean all by yourself? Imagine being able to check and clean your water at home, making sure it's safe for you and your family. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Clean Hydration. Today in this video we will discuss how we can purify water at our home and the basics of boiling. Clean water is key to staying healthy, but we often forget about it until there's a problem. Making sure our water is clean isn't just something nice to do. It's a must to keep sickness away, stay healthy, and take care of our families. People have always looked for ways to make water pure. In this discussion, we'll talk about why cleaning water is so important for stopping diseases and keeping a healthy living space. How boiling water makes it safe to drink. Boiling water is a simple but powerful way to make sure it's safe to drink. This process works because it kills harmful things in the water like bacteria, viruses, and tiny parasites that can make you sick. Here's a closer look at how it works. What's in the water? Water might look clean but can have tiny harmful organisms called pathogens. These include bacteria like E. coli, viruses like hepatitis A, and parasites like Giardia. They can cause anything from stomach upsets to serious diseases. Boiling the water kills these pathogens, making the water safe to drink. How boiling works. When you boil water, you heat it up until it turns to steam. This happens at 100 degree O, 212 degree O, at sea level, but happens at lower temperatures if you're up high, like in the mountains. This is because there's less air pressure up there. Why heat kills germs? Boiling is great for purifying water because the heat messes up the germs' important parts, like proteins and genetic material, and makes them unable to cause diseases. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, says to boil water for one minute if you're at a normal altitude, and for three minutes if you're more than 2,000 meters high. The height above sea level or altitude changes how water boils. The higher you are, the lower the temperature at which water boils. This is important because it might change how long you need to boil your water to make sure it's safe. Boiling water is a proven way to kill germs and make water safe to drink. It's a method that relies on heat to destroy harmful organisms, and it works no matter where you are, although you might need to boil it a bit longer if you're in a high place. This simple technique is a key way to protect your health and ensure your water is clean. Step-by-step -step guide to boiling water for purification. Boiling water is one of the most effective methods to make it safe for drinking. The process is simple but requires careful attention to detail to ensure that all harmful pathogens are eliminated. Here's a comprehensive guide to purifying water through boiling, whether you're at home or in a situation where you suspect the water might be contaminated. Step 1. Choose the right container. Select a clean container. Use a pot or kettle that is clean and free from any chemical residues. If unsure, clean it thoroughly with soap and water before use. Material matters. Prefer metal containers, stainless steel or aluminum, as they distribute heat evenly and are less likely to break under high temperatures compared to glass or ceramic. Step 2. Fill the container with water. Source water. Fill the container with water from your source. If the water is visibly dirty or has particulates, pre-filter it using a clean cloth coffee filter, or paper towel to remove large debris. Leave some space. Do not fill the container to the brim. Leave some space at the top to prevent boiling water from spilling over. Step 3. Boil the water. Use a heat source. Place the container on a stove or another reliable heat source. If outdoors, you can use a portable stove or build a fire. Bring to a rolling boil. Heat the water until it reaches a rolling boil. This is characterized by continuous, vigorous bubbles that don't stop even when stirred. Boiling time. Once it reaches a rolling boil, let it boil for at least one minute. At altitudes above 2,000 meters, approximately 6,562 feet, boil for three minutes to account for the lower boiling temperature at higher elevations. Step 4. Let the water cool. Cool naturally. Remove the container from the heat source and let the water cool naturally. Do not add ice or cold water to expedite the cooling process as it can recontaminate the water. Step 5. Store the purified water. Use clean storage containers. Transfer the cooled, boiled water into clean storage containers. If you're not using it immediately, make sure the containers are airtight.
keep in a cool, dark place. Store the containers in a cool, dark place away from direct sunlight and contaminants. Additional tips. Reboil if left uncovered. If the boiled water has been left uncovered and could have been exposed to contaminants, consider reboiling it for safety. Taste improvements. Boiled water might taste flat due to the lack of oxygen. To improve the taste, pour the water back and forth between two clean containers a few times to aerate it. Regularly clean containers. Ensure that all containers used for storing water are cleaned and sanitized regularly to prevent microbial growth. Following these steps will help ensure that the water you drink is free from harmful pathogens, making it safe for consumption. Remember, when in doubt about the safety of your water, boiling is a reliable method for purification. Tips for effective water purification at home. Purifying water at home is crucial for ensuring the safety and well-being of yourself and your family. While boiling water is a highly effective method for killing pathogens, there are additional tips and practices that can further ensure the quality of your drinking water. Here are some essential tips for effective water purification at home. Number 1. Pre-filter water to remove sediments. Before boiling, it's wise to pre-filter any visibly turbid or dirty water to remove large particles and sediments. Use a clean cloth, coffee filter, or even a paper towel as a makeshift filter. This step helps in achieving clearer water and reduces the risk of consuming visible contaminants. Number 2. Ensure complete coverage during boiling. When boiling water, ensure that it reaches a rolling boil and stays at that boil for at least one minute or three minutes if you're at a high altitude. This guarantees the elimination of bacteria, viruses, and protozoa. The entire volume of water should reach this boiling point, not just the surface. Number 3. Proper storage is the key. After boiling, transfer the water to clean, disinfected storage containers. Make sure these containers are sealed properly to prevent recontamination. Store them in a cool, dark place to maintain water quality. Number four, regularly clean and sanitize water containers. Cleanliness extends beyond the water itself. Ensure that all containers, pots, and bottles used for storing water are regularly cleaned and sanitized. This prevents biofilm formation and the growth of microorganisms in containers that could compromise water safety. Number five, use safe water for all consumption. Remember that water used for drinking, cooking, making ice, brushing teeth, and washing fruits and vegetables should be purified. This holistic approach helps prevent waterborne diseases. Number six, aerate boiled water for improved taste. Boiled water can taste flat because boiling removes dissolved oxygen. Improve the taste by pouring the boiled water back and forth between two clean containers several times to reoxygenate it before consumption. Common misconceptions about boiling water for purification. While boiling water is a well-established method for making water safe to drink, there are several misconceptions about its efficacy and the process itself. Clarifying these misunderstandings is crucial for ensuring that the water we consume is truly safe. Here are some of the most common misconceptions. 1. Boiling water for a few seconds is enough to purify it. Reality. Water needs to reach a rolling boil for at least one minute to effectively kill most pathogens. In higher altitudes, above 2,000 meters or 6,562 feet, water should be boiled for at least three minutes due to the lower boiling point at these elevations. Number 2. If water looks clear, it doesn't need to be boiled. Reality. Clear water is not necessarily safe water. Many pathogens and contaminants are invisible to the naked eye. Boiling is necessary to ensure the elimination of harmful microorganisms, regardless of the water's appearance. Number three, boiled water is devoid of minerals and therefore unhealthy. Reality, boiling water does not significantly affect its mineral content. The essential minerals present in water remain largely unchanged after boiling. The health benefits of eliminating harmful pathogens far outweigh any perceived loss of minerals. Number 4. Boiling is the only way to purify water. Reality. While boiling is an effective method for killing pathogens, it's not the only way to purify water. Other methods such as filtration and chemical disinfection can also be effective, especially when used in combination with boiling. Number 5. Boiled water can be stored indefinitely reality. Even after boiling, 
Water can be recontaminated if not stored properly. It should be consumed within a reasonable time frame and stored in clean, sealed containers in a cool, dark place. As we wrap up, it's key to remember that the quality of our drinking water is really about our health, not just taste or being handy. Boiling water, especially when we're unsure about its safety, is a smart and easy way to make sure it's safe to drink, getting rid of bad stuff in the water. This knowledge should encourage us to actively clean our water, keeping us, our families, and our communities safe. Using boiling as part of cleaning water shows we really care about our health. Even though boiling water is a simple act, it shows our strong commitment to keeping our water pure. In the end, how clean our water is shows how much we understand and value its role in our health. As we go forward, let's remember the lessons and habits that make sure every sip of water is safe. Boiling water is an old but wise way to protect us, showing that we should never take clean water for granted. That's a wrap for today's video. I hope you benefited from today's video. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell to get updates as soon as we post a new informative video. Thanks for tuning in.